This video was recorded in front of a live virtual audience. Hi everybody! Welcome back to Totally Deco, my pop culture channel. It's a brand new channel full of fun surprises. Today we're going to be unboxing Merman from Masters of the Universe. Origins line, brand new line, brings back childhood memories. But also, gots to say, something smells really fishy up in here. Why? Because this is a fish. I mean, merman. Mermaid. I don't know. Is he a mermaid? A merman? We do not know. But anyway... Uh, he is kind of cute in his uh, color scheme, uh, composition, variations. Comes in this packaging that has gorgeous 80s artwork and glossified Masters of the Universe um, coating. And then in the back, look at that artwork. Let me zoom that in. Check this out. Merman with an octopus, some ugly little fish, <laughs> a, a little bit of a, um, a jellyfish over there, and then we got the, the, the spider thing, what's it called, with Skeletor on top. Uh, he is one of those masters of the deep sea, and he goes the deep. And then we got the cross cells, and we have all of the uh, action features that he has. Well, basically, he, you could twist and turn all of his joints. He comes with his, as they call it, corn on the cob, um, on the knob, <laughs> um, sword. Or, yeah, well, I mean, you could call it a sword. I call it a coral, perhaps. And then we got all our other characters available in this Wave, He-Man, She-Ra, Skeletor, Roboto, Zodak, and Merman himself. Gorgeous artwork. I mean, I'm... Ah, let me come in even closer. This is just living for this 80s-inspired artwork. We're going to rip into him. This is actually the first time that... I'm, I ordered this one from Amazon. This is the first time that uh, Amazon delivered one that wasn't busted. Like, where I can I could say, hey, this is almost for... A mint on card collector, this is actually doable. But uh, no, it's a waste of a lot of space. I, I will, I keep these cards, but, um, oh wait, hold on. Before I break into him, let me make a screenshot, not a screenshot, a thumbnail moment, because we got to have a moment, you know, with Merman for the thumbnail. Okay, now we're going to rip into you. Oh, by the way, it wouldn't be totally Jacob without our... I want to... How do I call them, actually? Let me just show you. We got Baby Yoda. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> Hedgehog is Baby Yoda's spirit animal. And Baby Yoda is one of the, as a hedgehog, spirit animals of totally Jacob in the Fashion Bunker. And uh, then we also got, uh, oh, come on, you guys, Chucky with his spirit animal, which is Chicky. So uh, Chucky, um, come on, let's do the hair. Heidi ho right? So uh, Chucky protects the fashion bunker and helps us produce the videos. He's a little producer. He works here as well. Right, Chucky? Mm-hmm. He doesn't like to talk. Uh when everybody's watching, but he talks when nobody's watching. You know how you know how Chucky does. Chucky does what Chucky does, right, Chucky? He's not gonna talk now. Forget about it. But anyway, so he's with us in the fashion bunker as well, uh, ready for special <laughs> unboxing. All right, let's dig into this baby here. Now, while I'm unboxing him. Please consider subscribing to my channel here on YouTube. Push the notification button. Like this video. Thumb it up. This is a brand new channel I just initiated. And you can also follow me on my main channel, my Super Jacob channel, for uh, fashion and art related uh, videos. You can also follow me on my perfume channel. But this channel now is 
a baby channel. It needs all the love and support it can get. So every thumbs up we get is a blessing. <laughs> it's a big blessing because it lets the YouTube algorithm know that, hey, we might just be doing something good here. Or not. <laughs> Depending on whether or not we manage to box. Oh, okay. So card busted, but the back is what counts for me. So I will be preserving this in my little archives here where I have all my other blisters and cards. By the way, check out my other Masters of the Universe unboxings uh, thus far. Now, ooh, okay. So, of course, international packaging. This is the comic book that comes without text. And we have already seen this in my other videos. It's the same comic book from the entire, the same, you know, every figure from this wave gets the same comic book. But cute that actually Mattel is going for the comic books again. And I love these little pieces here. They started introducing these with the, with this particular wave. A little tiny sketch of Merman and all of the pieces of his body that you can detach. This is something new that... Uh, was not happening in the 80s with the Masters of the Universe. You could not just detach limbs off of their body and uh, play with them separately. But now you can. Check out Mermaid with all his limbs to die for. Uh, let me put more Merman more, more man into there. Taking him out of his prison. Be free, little fishy. Be free. And I'm going to take off the rubber bands. And he is like, I am born anew. Ah! Almost. Okay, there he goes. He's alive. He is alive. He is. Yes, you is. Merman, yes, you is. Okay, now. Hold on, you guys. The little, uh, <laughs> I want to call it the coral. Okay, let's be elegant about this. The coral is here. And uh, got the coral. It's a bendy, pliable plastic, as they say. And uh, we can put it in... Uh, Mm. Merman's hand. Uh, he does grab it. Okay, he bends. All his limbs bend. He is Merman in his toy form from the 80s. So as the sketch shows, we can detach parts of him. Let's take his head off. Let's take a limb off. Let's take... Oh, no. Merman broke. Well, you see, this is what happens when a toy is not built properly. He lost a limb. Let me... <laughs> yep, this literally broke. This was not supposed to happen. Mattel, Mattel, you bad toy maker. This little bit here is so thin that it just broke off. What I was trying to do by pulling his leg, and kids are going to pull the leg too. What you wanted to actually detach was the, the top of his uh, body, uh, which is detachable. When it comes to the legs, what is detachable is actually the bottom part of his, his foot, his toe. This part is not detachable, so this just broke. But it's interesting to see. Uh, it is a very, very thin bit of plastic here, which is not even that bendable. So I have the feeling that they... Oh, I see what they did. This thing is glued uh, wrongly. So... You see on this side of the leg, you can actually bend the leg open on that little tiny peg there. In this case, the peg is literally glued in there, so you can't even bend it. To save your life, you can't bend it. Let me try. No. Okay, so this one has been... Yeah, this one is defect. That's why. Oh, well. They're still available on Amazon. I can order another one, or I could just send this one back. But it doesn't matter. It is what it is. Poor, poor merman. He lost a limb. But like every good fish, lizard, jellyfish, fish, he's going to grow out another limb. I'm not very worried about him. You could detach uh, the... Um, 
his little harness and he gets more and more naked the more we go along but okay let's just say merman has issues he lost a leg and you know what i gotta say also this plastic is much thinner than the plastic of the other masters huh they went a little bit cheap on merman didn't they well let's save merman okay we broke merman all right, let's take Beastman, for example. We're going to take the, the bottom part of Beastman off. And since Merman lost a limb, let's attach Beastman's bottoms to Merman's top. No pun intended. Um, I guess I'm going to give Merman his head back. He already lost a, 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 a leg, poor thing, right? Let's not, like, torture him more. Oh, look, he's all good. He's all good like new all of a sudden, even though he has orange feet. I mean, we could still change stuff up, right? I could, technically, add as many parts of Merman as I can back to, <laughs> back to him, give him back a little bit of his dignity, this poor fish. This poor breaking fish. Check this out. He even has the bottom parts of his feet back. Look at that. He's good as new. Even though, you know, technically not completely good as new. And of course, we want his little sexy harness. Sure, we can do that. I, I, you know, we can do that, Merman. Wait, let me just... The poor kids who are going to play with these toys and they're just going to break so easily. This is Mattel. You did not. You did Merman dirty, Mattel. I got to say. Because the kids are going to pull on their legs. I don't think that they planned out very well the fact that you cannot pull this part off. That you can only pull the bottom part. Kids are going to pull. It's going to break. This is not really... It's a it's a toy for kids. It's it's a, you know it's sold to kids, not to collectors. But it's very very fragile. Um, but I gotta say, I'm kind of living for my merman with orange legs. I mean, he kind of given me off a vibe. You know what I mean? So it's all doable, you know. And then Beastman. Well, now Beastman has an issue. Beastman is like, hey, where my body at? Well, uh, Beastman, I gotta. Well, now you're broken. Beastman is like, oh no, I have been mutilated. He's like, hi, my name is Beastman. I lost my limbs. I gave them to my best buddy, Merman. Now I live a life of solitude. I crawl on the floor. I cannot walk anymore. But don't you fret none. I have been cast for the new movie Freaks 2. Yes, Dan Browning movie from the 30s is being reshot with Beastman in the part of the Beastman with almost no limbs. He slithers through the world and meets Skeletor from time to time. And because he has, you know, no limb anymore, uh, he kind of actually has to grab onto Skeletor. Because Skeletor, you, you might think he's a bad guy, but he has a good heart. Skeletor helps out Beastman. He carries him everywhere he goes. Because Skeletor is a good guy after all. He helps his buddy Beastman and he takes him through Eternia on journeys untold. But then from time to time, Hordak passes by. Then Hordak is the boss of Skeletor. You best believe he's like... Skeletor, what the hell are you doing? Don't be wasting your time on that beast. You gotta win over Eternia. And then, like, Skeletor is like, well, he's my friend. I want to save him. And then Hordak is like, you're stupid. We gotta conquer Eternia. Just get rid of him. And then Skeletor is like, you're a bitch. End of episode one. <laughs> that, this is so cute how they help each other out, though. I'm loving this. We love you even though you have, even though you're missing a limb. That's the, the motto of the story. And if you know Masters of the Universe from the 80s, every cartoon would end with a moral. The story always had a good moral. And then he met would come out to say, Hey guys, always remember to always stay together with your friends, even though they're missing a leg or two, because friends are with you till the end. Come on, He-Man, focus. Gotta cover my fasts. Moral of the story, 
always stick to your friends, even if they're missing a limb or two, because friends are there to stick with you to the end. That's that. Bye. <laughs> okay, guys, let me read some of your comments as we roll the final credits. Megan says, play day time. Uh, Lily Bomfy says, I would, but I don't know what Fretnan is, Dorothy, on the Golden Girls. Yes, don't you? Fretnan is very Golden Girls. Jesus says, get a Vivian Westwood harness instead, right? <laughs> I don't know if the boys in my neighborhood would get Westwood. I mean, Westwood is amazing, Tom. You should get Westwood. Um, Tom says, oh, an Hermes harness. That would, uh, that would go over very well at Pride. Get the Leatherman and the Queens. Megan O'Connell says, Dior stepped in. Is that a, a harness Hermes? Yes. It, the, the uh, bottom feet, because, you know, he broke a limb, so Hermes jumped in and created orange limbs for Merman. He has Hermes limbs, you guys. But actually, the harness, Beastman has the orange harness. Beastman has uh, the Hermes harness, you guys. Poor Merman, says Tom. I know, but don't worry. We're going to get another one. They're still available, I think. And if they're not... You know what? We love him. We Even with his flaws, we love him. Look how cute he is with his little orange feet. But now Beastman doesn't have <laughs> um, Megan O'Connell, maybe I still grow back like a starfish. Yeah, he has a bit of starfish blood in him. It's going to grow back. Yeah, kids will destroy that. Yeah, the toy is too fragile for kids. He needs a hip replacement. Totally. Megan says, Gorilla Glue time. Not on my hair, though. <laughs> He has my feet. Oh, you, you got green feet too, Debbie? Oh, no, says Rara. I know, poor merman. But he'll be back in no time. Good as new. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe and thumb it up. And let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section down below. Uh, and until next time, you know, enjoy the fun. Megan says, Jacob needs his own action figure. <gasps> I'm living for it. Could you imagine an action figure? I mean, I could combine bits and bobs from these guys, but I would still need to design a head. <laughs> and then be, then you could really ask me, like, how is your head? And then I could really tell you, well, I've been having some complaints because it doesn't fit um, on the peg. Ha <laughs> wink, wink. Okay, guys. Oh, my God. The puns are running today. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Never forget to never give up on love. Love you all. See you soon. Take out. This was totally Jacob. See you soon. Take care. Bye.